Uh, meow? Ah! The Human Teeth Sonic has finally been erased from our minds and released with a new digital design for the official Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. But did Paramount Pictures do enough to win us over? Well, while we were all ooing and aahing over the new Sonic design, there was so much to take in with the new trailer. What deep game references did the trailer make? Will other Sonic characters appear in the film? And how does Super Mario connect to the movie? Well, we have your answers as we dive deep into the new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. The Sonic Makeover Wow! Just when we thought Sonic the Hedgehog was going to be a modern-day version of the atrocious Super Mario Bros. movie, Paramount Pictures really outdid themselves and listened to the fans for once. Bravo! The first Sonic design was a hot mess. Sorry to show you all again, but seriously, we have to break this down. The face fur was weird, the eyes were awful, and everything felt disproportionate. And the teeth. Why the human teeth? Imagine going to a pet store and seeing a hedgehog rocking those dentures. Yikes. But we've all ragged on the original design enough. Now let's showcase the greatest before and after reveal in movie history, the new and improved Sonic. Sure, the eyes still don't fully connect, but the larger size and more true-to-game fur style actually makes the character feel like Sonic. But everything Paramount Pictures focused on was not just about the design, it's about the attitude as well. The original trailer was flanked by Coolio's Gangsta Paradise and showcased Sonic taking his running so seriously it came off as corny. Gotta go fast. The personality is shifted along with the visuals, as Ben Schwartz is able to capture Sonic's cool vibe, quirky style, and funny one-liners. I always want to do this. Nailed it! This is the Sonic we know and love, but there's a lot more to the trailer packed in as well. Major trailer differences. Not only did we get to see a new and improved Sonic design, but the trailer gives us a better narrative in the form of the story. No longer does the movie feel like Dr. Robotnik's solo film with Sonic as a side character. So what's the plot? Well, Sonic is facing some dangers on his homeland. So he escapes to planet Earth to help protect his powers and hide out. Only, a solo game of baseball turns into a big mess, and Sonic gets detected. The blue furball then has to go on the run from Dr. Robotnik so he cannot capture Sonic and harness his powers. You know, kind of like how Mewtwo was captured and had his powers harnessed in Detective Pikachu. Typical video game movie fodder. Anyway, Sonic has to take on a lot of robots as he bonds with a human pal in the form of actor James Marsden. The plot is certainly nothing to write home about, and probably one of the main reasons they didn't reveal much in the first trailer. Basically, the journey will be all about the action, comedy, and nostalgia felt through Sonic's adventures. Paramount is pretty much testing the waters to see how far the Sonic franchise can go. Sonic's Homeland Early on in the trailer, there are a couple of quick shots that showcase CG even more impressive than Sonic himself. On my planet, people were always after my powers. Through his voiceovers, we learn the area is none other than Green Hills. You know the zone. It's the first couple levels of all the first Sonic games. The ones we played over and over again because we didn't have the luxury of a memory card back in the day. Well, after seeing the film designs, all we have to say is, wow. Okay, okay, it's no Pandora from Avatar. But seriously, why didn't the whole movie just take place here? We don't need Sonic on Earth. This place looks glorious. There's loops built into the stone formations. You can see subtle checkerboard patterns on the rocks that look and feel like a natural part of the landscape. Bridges, waterfalls, and large rams complete the design, but we really can't wait to see more. Hopefully, the opening extends beyond a little longer than we were given in the trailer, and maybe, just maybe, we'll return to the area for the climax of the movie. Even better would be a nice look into the Casino Night Zone, a fan favorite among all the Sonic levels. The Garage Easter Eggs Seeing all the humans inhabiting Earth, a walking and talking blue hedgehog obviously wouldn't get very far if he decided to mingle with the people. So what does Sonic decide to do? I have no idea! Hide out in Garage and make the best of his time. The Garage scenes flash by ultra quick in the trailer, but are jammed full of Sonic the Hedgehog references. First, check out the makeshift ping pong table created with a road sign. The sign refers to the Hilltop Zone, the set of levels from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. When we see the overhead shot of the ping pong table, look for a glimpse of a license plate in the top corner and you can spot the symbols ND4SPD. 
clearly referencing need for speed. During another angle, look for a small Viewmaster rail in the back. Funnily, there was a special edition blue Viewmaster released for the 20th anniversary of the first Sonic the Hedgehog video game. And then there's the giant pile of Flash comic books as the movie does a great nod to the DC Comics speedster. Of course, Sonic raids through them just as fast as Barry Allen would. Sonic's Accessories the end of the garage clips and the full-length trailer reveal Sonic wielding a pair of nunchucks. Sonic never uses nunchucks in a Sonic game, but plenty of players did if they ever enjoyed one of the franchise releases on the Nintendo Wii. But that's not our main focus anyway. Right now, we're looking at the headband Sonic wears in the moment. The logo in the center of the headband is the same exact one used for many of the Sonic intro screens. The logo is mostly known for its use in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, when Sonic and Tails pop up to fill in the center circle. And that's not the only accessory the animators focused on when it came to Sonic. In the original trailer, you know, the one Paramount wishes they could erase from the internet forever. Yeah, anyway, in that trailer, even Sonic's shoes felt a little off. They were red, but the style and size were much different. Well, now Sonic is back to old ways, with a pair of red kicks that completely match the style featured in a majority of the video games. Sonic Game References We've already touched upon some of the Sonic Game references found in the trailer, but there are even more, so let's dig in. First off, the baseball scene where Sonic plays all by himself. As the pitcher, he wears a green cap with the letters GH on it. The hat is clearly representing the Green Hill Zone from the Sonic games. Even deeper was an ultra-quick shot where Sonic plays the third base coach. The initials there are SV. What do they stand for? Spring Valley. While Spring Valley is not a typical zone found in the classic Sonic games, the area was a level featured in the Sonic Team game Nights into Dreams. The Sega Saturn game follows children as they enter a world of dreams and nightmares. The game's Sonic Adventure also features Spring Valley as one of the worlds from a special bonus pinball game. So yeah, the reference is a deep cut into the world of Sonic games. But Green Hill Zone needs some other area baseball team to go up against. As you watch the trailer, also be on the lookout for plenty of rings. The Paramount logo replaced the stars with rings. There's a giant portal ring which sent Sonic to Earth, and he holds a smaller ring at one point as well. We have to imagine those rings will become a key part of the plot at some point. Other Sonic Characters With so much to see in the new Sonic trailer, we couldn't help but focus on what was missing. Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Amy, Blaze. Sonic's home planet is seemingly deserted. He looks like the only CG character, yet his solo runs in the gaming world is limited to just like the first game. Seriously, how could you not make a movie with Miles Tails' Prower? We don't need an origin story. That's what the games are for. Or at least just the first 10 minutes of the movie. What we really want to see is a fully-fledged Sonic universe. What will we most likely get? A tagged-on post credit scene where we hear some type of animal flying, right up until the point where Tails lands and says something woody like, What's up? Boo. Why not just thrust into the whole Sonic world? Give us some more characters. We don't need to hold big setup beforehand. Imagine some of the great dynamics that could have been added with Tails or Knuckles. Instead, we gotta wait for the inevitable sequel where the character gets tossed in. A Sonic universe? Speaking of sequels, the Sonic franchise could be the start of something big for Paramount. They currently have the Mission Impossible franchise, but building a whole world around Sonic would be epic and something that never would have happened if they stuck with the same CG design. With a CG upgrade and some potential success, we could imagine seeing a whole lot of Sonic films in the future. Just imagine a few films down the line, where we get a little darker with Shadow the Hedgehog joining the mix. While having the characters on Earth would be great, the franchise would eventually grow stale and feel like other popular movies like Elvin and the Chipmunks. Bringing Sonic back home would be the way to go. Seeing Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik in Sonic's world could create a lot of fun and really allow the animators to push the limits of the CG. If Tails does join the sequel, we could enjoy a whole Sonic and Tails features, along with some Avengers-style team-ups in similar fashion to games like Sonic Colors. The best part about the stories in the game is they weren't all just a repetitive storyline about capturing a princess. There is a ton of source material to build off of. 
Sonic playing baseball and table tennis. We may be getting a little ahead of ourselves with the whole sequel and franchise thing, but that CG change really did wonders. When Sonic plays ping pong with himself, the animation is smooth and truly feels like the speedster we know. And the ping pong scene may seem random, but it also ties into the video game world. In multiple versions of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Sonic is able to challenge Mario and others to the Olympic sport of table tennis. While he could easily play himself to win the gold medal, he slows things down in the games to help with Olympic regulations. And while Sonic has had tennis, racing, and golf games released over the years, his baseball scene may seem unrelated to Sonic games at first glance. But that's not the case at all. Back in 2004, McDonald's released a special handheld LCD game entitled Knuckles Baseball. In the game, Sonic would hit baseballs, and players controlled Knuckles in an attempt to catch each ball. Nothing fancy, but not bad for a free Happy Meal toy. Anyway, while tennis would have been a more obvious Sonic connection, we did find the link to the baseball scene. The Ultimate Verdict Wow, there truly was a whole lot packed into a trailer that ran for a little less than three minutes. While a majority of the focus was on the new CG animation, we still have to look at the film objectively. The personality of Sonic in the new trailer is a massive improvement, and we have to wonder if that was in the works already, or just another big part of their changes. Either way, this is a video game movie, one that will not only get scrutinized by diehard Sonic fans, but film critics won't be too easy on the hedgehog either. Casting Jim Carrey was a brilliant idea, and he has the ability to deliver some of the film's biggest laughs. While delivering a villain, he rises above the simple plot of wanting all the power. There are still a whole lot of children's movie cliches walloped into the story, but hopefully the whole film is just setting us up for even bigger and better things. After the changes Paramount already made, they seem committed to making Sonic work, and after so many years of failed video game movies, so are we. And now it's your turn to sound off. Are we getting a little too ahead of ourselves here? Is the movie going to be a big hit in 2020? Do you want to see more of Sonic on the big screen? Were you impressed with the character redesign? Well, let us know in the comments, and stick around to the gamer for more great video game content. We're releasing new videos every couple of days. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the channel.